Good evening. My name is Brian Dickerson, Sr. Educator, mentor, lifelong learner. What does black history mean to me? Black history means to me an opportunity to remember, change, but more importantly, progress. A revolutionary mind of sorts. If we know our past, we're less likely to repeat it. In 1831, laws were passed to keep slaves from reading and writing. Slave owners went to great lengths and extremes to keep slaves from this basic right. The only way a slave was able to read or write is if they participated in church services allowed by the slave master. During these times, if anyone was caught teaching slaves, they were beat, whipped, even hanged. Most of the folks were slaves who were caught. Along came a revolt and a revolution of sorts. Mr. Nat Turner, a slave, a preacher from Virginia, who had just had enough. It was said that he kept a copy of a book by David Walker in the lining of his coat. Now, David Walker's appeal was written in 1829. The laws that prohibited slaves from reading was in 1831. This book was a call for black unity, self-help, and to fight against aggression and oppression and injustice. Which brings me to what it means most to me about Black History Month. It was said that if not for Nat Turner, being able to read David Walker's appeal we would never understand the importance of how we had to fight to have the basic right to read. There's an old saying, and I'm sure you've probably heard it before, that if you wanted to keep something from black folks, all you had to do was put it in a book. As we celebrate Black History Month, remember, have a spirit of David Walker. Have a revolutionary mind like Nat Turner. And remember, change won't happen unless you do. Teach your kids how important it is to read. If you don't know your history, remember, you're doomed to repeat it. This is what Black History Month means to me. Thank you.